We get excited about ancient alignments that mark a turning point event. The Sarsen Ring of Stonehenge is believed to have been planned to align with the sunrise on the summer solstice and sunset on the winter solstice. Imagine what it took to create a system that tracks the time for the whole year. Uh, in the case of the temples, most probably, a lot of them have been orientated uh, southeast and southwest. There is an exception with one temple in Mont, the Nidra temple, the southern Nidra temple, which is facing exactly due east. The South Temple at Amnidra was planned from the ground up to be aligned in such a way that the sun rises directly through the main portal on each equinox, the two times each year that daylight hours and darkness are balanced. It still happens today in nearly exactly the same way it happened more than 5,000 years ago when the temple was made. On equinox days, the central corridor is lit all the way to the back of the temple. Stones were deliberately arranged inside the portal to restrict the entrance of sunrise in a particular pattern at other times of the year. On the summer solstice, when the sun rises higher in the sky in the northern hemisphere and the hours of daylight are longest, the sunrise highlights the far edge of a standing stone inside the temple. On the shortest day of the year, the winter solstice, the light falls on a matching stone on the other side of the corridor. A functioning prehistoric timepiece, every morning from one year to the next could be marked by sunrise somewhere across this configuration of stones. <laughs>